today's world, many speak the universal language of rock music. Beijing youth's Li and Feng were no exception. I think the young people in China were attracted to heavy metal music uh, for many of the same reasons as anywhere. The, the power of the music, the energy of it, you know, and uh, the culture. By day, they lived lives of quiet desperation, working in a factory making cheap plastic toys for export to the West. But at night, heavy metal was their muse, and their small 7x7 concrete apartment became a 60,000-seat stadium. And every night, they brought the house down. Each Axl Rose scream, every Pete Townsend classic windmill move, brought them closer and closer to rock and roll nirvana. In that moment, for that person, there is no logical mind. It's just all emotion and energy. And I think these two, they probably were not thinking very logically. One night, after banging every groupie on their magic bus, after smashing their air guitars into pieces, there was only one thing left, the encore. Whether a sacrifice to the gods of rock or just catching his knockoff Nike on the edge of the bed, Lee took his last stage dive out the six-story window. Feng can't bear the thought of breaking up the band. He gives one last Chinese warlord scream and follows his rock and roll brother out the window. I think whatever band that they were listening to should dedicate the next album to them. Confucius once said, music produces a pleasure which human nature can't do without. Unfortunately, China will have to do without Li and Fang.